Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a realistic get ready with me. So it's going to cut in a minute to me getting ready this morning, which wasn't too long ago because I just got back from the school run. But I'm just going to walk you through the products that I'm using at the moment and you can just kind of see my setup and it's just going to be just as it is because I know a lot of makeup videos on here can sometimes feel a bit unachievable if you're a parent. And don't get me wrong, I have days where sometimes I walk out the door with wet hair, but thankfully today was not one of them. But if you would like to see a little bit more, then keep watching. So, welcome to a get ready with me, real mom edition. <laughs> um, it is 20 to 8 in the morning. You can hear background noise, it's Bill watching YouTube shorts on his phone. These two are eating porridge next to me. And I just thought I would show you how I get ready before school or the school run because I'm not in school. Um, you eat your porridges, you put in kisses. Um, so I've already moisturised um, earlier. I tend to moisturise after a shower, which you can tell I've had. Right, okay, so first up, after moisturiser, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Crop Melon Jelly Primer. Um, I've been trying out different brands recently, like some more independent ones, and I actually really like the Beauty Crop. Um, so I'm just going to take a little pump of that on my hand. And you're not even watching me now, you'll be watching Stanley showing off. But um, I'm just going to rub that into my skin. And this is, I would say, quite tacky. Um, it does help everything stick to the skin really well. And at this time of year, when I'm a little bit drier, as I imagine you are too, um, it kind of feels like it, with the name, injects like a bit of glow back into my skin. I've only just started using it. And I do really like it. So... And that is step one. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the collection Filter Finish. Uh, this is a, a pretty decent dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. I've had both, but obviously this is cheaper, so I'm using this at the moment, but like I might get the Flawless Filter maybe with some like Christmas money or birthday money in the new year because I do really like it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Coco Cosmetics um, Marshmallow Sponge. So it looks like this and I've just wet this off and I think I'm going to clean this again today because um, it needs it but I'm just patting that into the skin and just trying to add a little bit of glow back into my life which I need at the moment because I'm very tired. Next up I'm going to go in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, lovely foundation, terrible packaging, high stun and um, the like pump broke off the top and then got stuck inside the lid so I have to just use it like this and if I ever travel with it then um, I've got to tape it together which is really annoying but I'm just adding like little swatches of that um, all around my face and I don't go too heavy with foundation I haven't done for a long time I feel like I just want to even out my skin tone and then if there are any bits that need a bit of extra work um, I'd rather sort that out and spot correct with concealer rather than you know go really thick because I just don't like the sensation on my skin. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer and this is the Revolution XX or the XX Revolution one in the shade CX 5.7. I do really like this concealer. I bought this twice now and it's really affordable but does the job which obviously is what we need. Um, I have a little like mirror here with lights on by the way if you see me looking down i tend to get ready downstairs because i honestly find it more convenient like they're eating breakfast right now and obviously i want to watch them and i can but i can also get ready at the same time and it's just so much better than like having to coordinate everything you know like only go upstairs when they do and stuff um because i can do everything more quickly, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to use the same sponge now and just dab that into my chin. So I've done my chin around my nose because I always get redness there. And then on my nose, a bit you. here because I love you. <laughs> and I have a bit of a strawberry birthmark on the middle of my forehead. So I, I'm not really bothered by it, but I just like even out that section there as well. It only really comes out when, like, 
I don't know, I'm stressed, which probably most of the time, to be fair. Um, so we're just going to double it in again. Okay, so it's a bit quieter now because they have just gone to go and get ready. Well, actually, Stan's already dressed because he got on first. Um, and Daisy and Bill are going to get ready, but they're like fine. And obviously, Mark's up now, so he's taken over while I finish getting ready, which is just spot on. And can you believe it? It's still not properly light outside, hence the way it looks in here. Mm. And I always need one of these because I cannot function <laughs> without a lovely coffee in the morning. I've got the Starbucks pods at the moment, um, the red holiday ones, which, I mean, they look dead cute if you have like a pod stand like I do, but also it's such a nice blend, it's so yummy. Um, and I'm also drinking it with the Alpro Barista coconut milk, because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. Now I'm gonna go in with the Pink Honey BFF Face Frosting, and I have the shade Fudge Glaze. This is a packaging, it's actually a brand that I got to learn about on TikTok, and it looks like this. It blends like a dream. I would say the consistency is quite similar to the, um, Chanel Sol de Tan Chanel bronzer thing, um, which is like mega books, so I don't own that. But what I'm gonna do first is like, just add a bit of warmth back into my face because especially at this time of year, I go quite sallow. I don't know if you can like see it, like quite, I guess it's just my skin tone, but I kind of look a bit like flat and, um, I love to warm my face up again. So. <laughs> you know what? Try and put on my little London accent. I'm going to get out from London. Bill's got to... <laughs> that was brilliant. Bill's got to go in as an evacuee today. Um, but we didn't really have much knitwear. So he basically, he's got school shorts on. And obviously 2020 tea jumper and a flat cap, but we did make a gas mask box and yeah. you've got your lunch in a brown paper bag, haven't you? Yes. So, um... <laughs> do you think I got a good London accent? When I was Berlin, I'm from London. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't you bad. Me. Anyway. This You're a London boy. <laughs> this is my hours in the morning. So, I am just going to kind of put it round my face. You know, like the... E and three, you know, like almost contour, really. Just warming everything up and adding some dimension back in because, as I say, a lot of the time when I do these videos, I do tend to look a little bit like a moon. Okay, so now that's done, and obviously I've not done my blush and stuff yet, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, powder, and I have the shade two medium and i'm gonna use this little powder puff thing i forget what the brand's called but i will link everything down below but it's fab because i do sometimes get creasing in my under eyes and i have quite deep set eyes and it just smooths everything out i don't know if you can like see the difference but it's brilliant and i always do this after my contour purely to just give everything else time to sit into my skin because then i find i need less product um, which is always a good thing because less is more. Um, and I'm just setting basically any areas where I'll probably get a little bit oilier throughout the day. Um, and I don't do my whole face. And then now on to blush, I'm gonna use the Benefit Terror. I got a mini one of this to try it out. It's like a really beautiful terracotta shade. I don't know why we're not focusing today, camera. There we go. And it's really pretty. And the mini one actually goes a really long way. I've had this like quite a while now, but I would definitely repurchase this for, you know, winter and autumn and stuff because it's just such a pretty, I don't know, warm blush. Obviously I will edit it all out, but the amount of times I've got up off this chair while filming this, but it's normal. Um, so now on to eyebrows. So I'm using the Pink Honey Glue. Um, I have the raspberry one. It's basically got like a hole in the center of it there and take your spoolie, wiggle it around. And then I'm gonna run it through my brows. And honestly, at first you're gonna be looking at me like, Charlotte, what have you done? Because they look really weird. However, it's just a 
the best way to kind of get all the product through. I know some people do their brows first, but I always find that makes foundation application really awkward. And I don't really cut in um, around my brows because A, I don't have the time and B, it's like daytime makeup. I don't really care about having like a cut in eyebrow. I just want them to look like semi-normal. So I've done that. I'm just gonna let that sit for a moment and then we're gonna brush them through. So what I do, it's really hard to show you without being able to look, I kind of brush them up. I have had my brows laminated, so obviously they behave a little bit better for you uh, when that's happened. Um, and I love having them laminated, but kind of brush them up. And then as I get to the arch, I kind of brush them across instead. And what I do after that is that I will fill them in with a brow pencil that I'll show you in a moment. But I've also been using the Dylor eyebrow kit and that like kind of just naturally thickens them up because I have a lot of hair there but a lot of it's quite fair and I just feel like I'm really enjoying a stronger brow at the moment. I feel like it frames my face really nicely, I feel like it suits me um, and I'm just enjoying it. So that is how it's done. And I'm not going to fill them in right away with my pencil because um, I want them to set a little bit first so I'm not moving them around too much. Next up, I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Beneath the Sheets um, look palette. You don't necessarily need this, um, but I'm going to use like this shade, this shade, and then like a combination of these two just to deepen it up. Um, but it's a fantastic little palette and you just basically need some matte warmer toned browns and nude shades to recreate this. So you probably will have them in palettes that you've already got. Already. Right, so first off, I'm gonna go in with PJ Party, which is this like kind of mid brown matte shade here. And I'm just gonna, and I do this really quickly. There's not, I haven't got time to do loads of blending. Um, I'll be lucky if I get to dry my hair today because there's been that many <laughs> distraction. Um, but I don't really care as long as the kids are in school and sorted and have everything that they need. I'm not really that bothered about how I look. But it is nice to have the time to do the school run and feel a bit more human. Um, so I'm putting this just kind of like in a cat eye shape here on my upper lid um, towards my brow and I will also move this down onto my lid afterwards once I've blended this out and then I'm taking a fluffy brush and blend 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 like this with a flat brush now I'm going to take PJ Party again I'm going to apply that to the outer half of my lid and then I'm going to take yours or mine which is kind of like a, a pinkish nudie shade and that is going on my inner corner or my inner half of the lid and it just kind of brightens everything up a little bit without being too harsh and um, because i really do love a shimmery eyeshadow as well you know if you followed me for any length of time but i'm just really enjoying these kind of 90s matte looks at the moment and then with a more targeted like pointy ended brush i'm gonna take a mix of pj party let's chill and slumber just kind of dab my brush in each one and then just highlight, can you see how I've added a bit more dimension to the outer corner there? And I'm gonna do that on the same side as well. And that is my eyes. And then now I'm gonna take, I think this is a P. Louise little mini brow pencil. You could use any brow pencil, honestly, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna fill in the gaps in my brows. So with this, I'm just gonna do like small little strokes in the sparser areas just to kind of build up the colour a little bit and make my brows nice and full. So that is my brows done now I'm just going to line it. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black and I'm just going to do like a really really nothing too crazy because obviously it's quite like a nude look um, and I'm just going to gently focus on the outer corner really um, I don't tend to line the inner corner of my eye anyway and just kind of taper it off about two thirds of the way across and there we go like there's one eye done 
<clears throat> and then the other one's not and it just adds a bit more definition back in but my best advice is just obviously practice but do little strokes you don't want to be doing like one big full line because that's so hard like i've got quite a steady hand and even i can't do that um so just go lightly and you can always fill in um i never tend to do it in one big stroke because i just can't now i'm going to take in my coco by chloe salted honeycomb highlighter which i love but is now discontinued but it's basically a shimmery gold and i'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheeks a little bit that's left over on the brush on my nose and then what I normally do is just get a flat brush and add a tiny little bit into my inner corners for a little bit of a pop and then taking my Rimmel Thrill Seeker mascara which is really good I've brought this twice now I'm just gonna do my lashes and I normally start at the bottom and do a little wiggle at first in every direction so making sure I'm really fanning out all my lashes and then I will start building up the coat. But just for reference, that's just one coat. I might turn this light off and see if that helps. No, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> it's so dark in here still. I have got lights on, but the uh, sun's not even properly risen yet. So that's my lashes done. And now I'm gonna go in with my Refi lip, I can't remember what they're called, lip sculpt. Um, I have the shade, blush is probably my favorite. I have rosewood and taupe or top however you prefer to say it too and you basically line your lips with it and I fill them in a little bit too and then it has this like setting balm that you paint on afterwards and it honestly stays on for ages and it's such a beautiful colour so that's it on my lips and then you screw the bottom up and it has this kind of it's hard to describe the texture really but it just kind of sets it into place and adds a bit of moisture back in too but it doesn't feel like tacky or dry or anything it's really odd but i do love it and then that is pretty much everything done now i'm going to go in with the beauty crop glow milk mist and now I have 10 minutes to quickly dry my hair, do Daisy's hair and get everyone out the door. So, right, we're all ready. We've got to go now. It's Christmas miracle. We're not going to be late. Hi. So Hi. I will <laughs> come back later and show you what it looks like after the school run because I appreciate this is a rush. Come on, guys. Okay, so I'm back from the school run and I thought I would show you a natural light because now there is actually light. <laughs> um, it brightened up so much in the last like half hour or so, but this is my finished makeup and now i'm just gonna get on and wig enjoy the rest of the day we have stan's christmas play later and also our like local like villagey christmas thing that happens every year so that'd be really exciting we're also going out for dinner with our friends and their kids so um it's looking to be a good day and i hope you have a good day too <laughs> 